Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a brand new video. Today's video I will show you something like this. Here in Premiere Pro I have already inserted two clips. Now we have to take a screenshot or a snapshot of in part end at the end of the first clip. Click on this a camera icon to take a screenshot and choose your folder. Select folder, click on OK. No, uncheck this one and click OK. Here is our snapshot. Now open it with Photoshop. Click and drag in Photoshop or you can open with your own way. Now go to this quick selection tool and start selecting our character like this. If you find anything wrong or any extra selection, just click on Alt and paint on extra selection. Now click on Ctrl J in your keyboard and here is a new layer. Right click, quick export as PNG. Choose your folder, click on save. Now close the Photoshop and drag first the screenshot into the Premiere Pro like this move second clip right like this and drag our transparent png now adjust the position of our transparent png you can zoom in like this and click and drag in the position panel perfect now click and drag it up and right click new item add a color mat click on ok and choose the yellow color you can choose any other color now drag it into the timeline and click on this color mat to make the opacity something like this now drag it up and make a selection by using pen tool in premiere pro Now drag it down. If you think anything anything wrong, just click on pen tool again and adjust it. Now click on this arrow icon shape and click on this arrow icon to change the color and change it to the pure white. Now select all of this and click on nest. So now everything on a single layer. So I will give you this link. This is the circle brushed effect. This is the transparent video. Just play the video and find which one is perfect for you. Just play and drag it into your timeline like this. I will give you the link in the description. Here I have added this. Now adjust the position. Select every single effects or every single transparent video and adjust from position now see this these are too fast so i'm gonna slow it down little bit right click right click speed and make it 50 percent so it will take a little bit more time to complete the effect perfect now again we have to adjust it so adjust it with your own way select all of this right click and nest again go to the effects search for drop shadow drag and drop into the our nested sequence of the circles brushed now adjust the numbers like position direction and the distance find which is the perfect for you little bit softness 
yeah perfect i think i'm happy with it now click on rectangle tool and add a rectangle like this go to the shape change the color like yellow you can do you can choose any other color go to the effects search for web and you will find the distort web drag and drop into the our new shape layer and from here adjust the web height direction etc so i am happy with it i'm happy with it position little bit down and copy the sh drop shadow from our brushed brushed circle layer to this new shape layer right click and paste it and change the direction little bit perfect now alt and drag it up to make another copy and go to the control panel effects control go to the motion and rotate rotation make it 180 adjust it little bit and see same effect on the upside now see how there is a problem it's too fast so we have to make it little bit slower click on our graphic i mean the shape layer go to the web i mean web warp web speed make it one uh, uh, same thing do on the other web speed one now see everything is perfect so our circle brushed layer should be top of every layer so drag it on top of every layer and see how it looks now right click color matte yellow you can add another yellow color matte top of every layer and change the opacity something like this to give a yellowish look of your video you can do change the circle brushed color select the circle brushed layer and go to the lumetri color and play with these sliders so i'm happy with it now select all of this right click and nest you can change the speed just right click go to the speed and make it slower or faster now right click make a new adjustment layer and drag it to the timeline make it little bit smaller we, we are gonna add a transition effects i am random randomly choose a transition effect you can find a perfect one for you same thing alt and drag it here same thing on other side so that's all for today guys hope you like the video and see you in the next one